Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. Almost into a new month. I want to bring you all a story out of Troy, New York. It is a baffling story. A To me, a very ignorant and uh, I just utter buffoonery. And you be the judge of this storyline I'm about to bring to you. But I, I don't agree with whatever is going on with this church and their reasoning for what they did. But... I will bring you the said information. If you need verification for the storyline, please log on to 6 News, WRGB, Albany. Troy Church gives away AR-15, but not without controversy. A church in Troy is attracting a lot of attention with a very unusual giveaway, and it wasn't all good. Win a free AR-15. That's the giveaway Grace Baptist Church in Troy held during their Sunday morning service. Attracting not only members of the church, but also protesters. It, it's extreme poor taste the time that they decided to raffle off a rifle when we have all of the shootings going on in all of our communities. I'm originally from Albany to Troy. It's facing the same problem, said protester Stephen Negron. Not a typical giveaway you would see at a church. Grace Baptist Church in Troy held an AR-15 assault rifle giveaway Sunday morning. A flyer on the event reads, Does the Bible defend my right to keep and bear arms? This flyer has garnered a lot of reaction on social media, many questioning what business a church has giving away guns, especially an AR-15. An AR-15 is completely unnecessary in this community. Even as a hunting rifle, I mean that's not really the type of rifle used to hunt. However, though shocking to many, State Assemblyman John McDonald, who represents New York's 108th District, said it's legal and something the church has a right to do. Trying to simplify the excuse me, trying to simplify this discussion, this is about a raffle of an item of value. I have no idea what the value of the gun is. Say it's $500. That's what this is. This is a raffle of a $500 gift certificate. Whoever wins that raffle still has to go through the proper background checks and processes and training permits to be able to hold that gun. This isn't the first time Grace Baptist Church has raffled off an AR-15. They raffled assault rifles at least twice before, once in 2014 and again in 2017. Much like anything else in society, it depends what your views are on the issue. Those people who are anti-gun are going to find this horrible, and I understand that. And those people who are pro-gun are going to say, this is our right, our amendment rights. Grace Baptist Church will be having another AR-15 giveaway Monday. We reached out to the pastor of the church for comment, but have not heard back at this time. Okay, that is the said information. Six News, WRGB Albany. WRGB Albany, excuse me. Let me say this. I'm all for citizens bearing arms uh, legally with a permit, license, yah, yah, yah. But a church raff raffling off a gun, why? What point are you proving? You understand what I'm saying? So now you want to mix religion in with raffling off a gun. I mean, what is the point you're trying to make? With the, with all that's going on in our country, hate, racism, violence, civilian against civilian, police against civilian, why not raffle off a gift certificate so someone could buy groceries, food? Do you understand what I'm saying? Shop at a store. That's what you should raffle off. $500 cash. Maybe someone could pay their car note. Pay their mortgage, their rent, gas for their car, food and groceries for themselves and their children. That seems to me the noble thing to do for a church. If you want to give something away, give away a cash prize so a person can buy what he or she needs for himself. And if it's a luxury item, which and so ever, it is his or her choice. But to raffle off a gun, why? It makes no sense. And to me, it's in poor taste. Second of all, let's say the person wins the raffle of the gun, but he or she is a convicted felon. Then what? Yes, that's right. Felons do go to church. Then what are you going to tell them when they say, 
oh, I can accept the prize for the $500 gun raffle gift certificate, however you want to word it. I'm a felon. So, uh, do you have another prize you want to give me, such as a $500 gift card and or Visa card and or cash? You see how foolish this is? And like I said, I am all for citizens being able to carry a legal firearm. I don't have a problem with that. But what I do have a problem is that you would want to rifle off an AR-15, period. Any type of gun, weapon. Why? When people are in need of money. That's my thing. People are in need of money at this current moment. And if there was no strife in the world, COVID, whatever, people are still in need of money. And that's usually what people would prefer at a raffle from a church or bingo from a church. They want prizes that they can use and utilize, such as food, toiletry items, household goods. So raffling off an AR-15 to me, it is in poor taste of a church. It is in, to me, it's, it's in poor taste, period. Why not just give a person money? And that's my commentary on this said jacked up situation out of Troy, New York. I don't know who the pastor is. Maybe he's got some type of hunting issues going on inside his dome. I don't know. I don't know the demographics of Troy, New York and that area. If this is a hunting area, I don't know. I don't live in upstate New York, but I can tell you what. Right now, somebody probably could use $500 in groceries, $500 towards bills. And that's the spoken word. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me. God bless you. Hello, Karen. Hello, all my friends, followers, fans. Thanks for joining me. And I will be back with another update. Please drop your comments below. And this is Everyday Shenanigans. Bye-bye.